Today's video is brought to you by Technically Not a Technician, and in today's video we'll be talking about the popular arcade classic video game that can now be played on the arcade 1UP Simpsons cab with the newest available soft mod. If you're unfamiliar with this simple software add-on, you can find the link in the description, and I'll link to it above. In 1994, Capcom produced Armored Warriors, a coin-operated video game for their CP System 2 hardware with a mecha theme. In Japan, the game was titled Powered Gear Strategic Variant Armor Equipment. The variant armors from this game were reused in Cyberbots, Full Metal Mayhem, another classic arcade fighting game. Armored Warriors was released digitally via the Capcom Beat'em Up bundle on September 18, 2018, for the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Windows. Capcom Arcade Stadium was released digitally on February 17, 2021, for the Nintendo Switch, and Armored Warriors was also included with the Retrobit Super Retro K dedicated console this same year. The multiplayer mode and the ability to equip players' mechs with a wide variety of weapons make Armored Warriors stand out. The arms, legs, and handheld weapons of the mech were all interchangeable. Such components were obtained by dealing damage to adversaries, which resulted in the disembarkation and acquisition of various parts. Players could also utilize a Team Up Change command to begin a powerful attack employing a team, and they could further customize their weapons by switching between a main and sub-weapon. There are seven distinct missions to complete throughout the game. In order to progress through the game, the player must meet certain requirements at the end of each stage, such as killing a certain number of enemies in a given length of time or using up a certain number of bullets. There was a boss at the conclusion of each level, and the game had decent replay value because of its ability to be customized. Armored Warriors also gives us a great backstory and it goes like this. After fighting for 50 years, the United Earth Government and the Principalities of Raya finally signed a peace pact in 2281. Melkide, the capital of the Ryan Empire, was taken by an unknown force a year after the pact was signed, according to the United Earth Government's 18th Scouting Expedition. The government of the United Earth resolved to send an army to Raya to retake the capital and save the people who lived there. The public may not have understood that the real goal of this operation was to bring Raya under Earth's authority by eliminating the mysterious enemy. In conclusion, I've got to say that Armored Warriors is a ton of fun, and the fact that the player has the ability to customize weapon platforms in the game really gives Armored Warriors a replay value that isn't found with most games. If you've not played this game, you really need to fire up MAME and give it a try. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. If you did, then please help me fight the YouTube algorithm by clicking that like button, turning on the notifications, sharing this video with your friends, and if you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. These are all small clicks for you, but they mean the world to this little channel. Thank you.